catalyst? It is a catalyst. That's warm. That's very warm. You want to go ahead with that? I do this to my students all the time. A catalyst that, um, that um, infuses energy with purpose. Okay. That's Luminosity, there. radiance. Let me go ahead and give it to you. Okay. Well, that's close. The purpose of A factor is to separate humanity or to separate reality from what we call God. It's called the factor of the first propagation. It separates everything that exists from what we call the state of non-existence or God. God would be, in our terms of discussion here, the term or the sum of all potentials. The A factor causes things to be created in their original primordial form. That's what A factor does. B fact, and A factor acts through all the different dimensions. It causes a person to say, I am. I am Mitchell, I am a plant, I am an animal, I am a fish, I am a tree, etc., etc. It causes beings to want to express themselves in form. Before that, all things are formless. The purpose of the A factor is to give reality a form, a way that it can experience itself and experience the universe. Now I'll give you B factor because that one's just too hard to guess. B factor acts on the fifth dimension for one particular purpose. B factor is a, a universal force that causes energy in the fifth dimension to be returned back to the ninth dimension or God. It's called um, it's not the same as the A factor because the A factor has one goal. The A factor wants to push everything as far away from God as it can. But the B factor wants to turn things back to God. It's also called the immortality factor. It wants to make things immortal. The next factor is called the X factor. The X factor acts on the third dimension, which is where we live, to place things in the fifth dimension. Now this is the source of a lot of the meditation practices that we just talked about that take advantage of this X force or X factor that exists inside of all of us. Every one of us have this. It's called, another word for it in our Western society, you might also call it the Christ force. Now this force has one particular purpose. What do you think that purpose is if you call it the Christ force? Raise, raise your hand. Enlightenment. Enlightenment, but something more than just enlightenment. Transformation. Transformation into what? We go back to our... Primordial state. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Very good. The X factor exists in all of us. You can measure it using certain techniques. The X factor has one goal. The X factor takes the 97% of our DNA and turns it into a light body. That's what the X factor does. That's its function. All of us walk around with the X factor being dormant inside of our bodies all the time. There are specific meditation techniques that have been advised or been devised over centuries to take advantage of that dormant state or that dormant force. There's another factor called Z factor um, that has a different sort of force or a different sort of um, action. Z factor is another term for death or chaos. The Z factor has one goal, and the Z factor's goal is to make sure that when you live a life, it makes sure that your body gets dissolved back into matter or back into the constituent parts of reality that created it. The Z factor also causes death and aging and illness. Were there any particular questions about that before we go on? Yes, raise your hand, just, just a second. Do you make any correlations with those um, nine factors and the three kayas? With the three kayas? Nirmanakaya, Sambhogakaya, and Dharmakaya. You want to explain that to the group? Well, they're just, it's a Tibetan tradition. Um,